evening, Mr. Chairman. Dr. Fauci, do protests increase the spread of the virus? Do protests increase the spread of the virus? Uh, I think I can make a general statement. Well, half a million protesters on June 6th alone. Yeah. I'm just asking that number of no. people. Does yeah. it increase the spread of the virus? Crowd, crowding together, particularly when you're not wearing a mask, contributes to the spread of the virus. Should we limit the protesting? I, I'm not sure what you mean. Should How do we say limit the protesting? Should the government limit the protesting? I, I, I don't think that's relevant to... Well, you just said if it increases the spread of the virus, I'm just asking, should we limit it? Well, I'm, I'm not in a position to determine what the government can do in a forceful way. Well, you make all kinds of recommendations. You, no. you make comments on dating, on baseball, on everything no. you can imagine. I'm just asking you. You just said that, yeah. that protests increase the spread. I'm just asking you, should we try to limit the protests? No, I think I would leave that to people who have more of an, a, a position to do that. I can tell you. Government stopping people from going to church, Dr. Fauci. Yeah. Last week in the Calvary Chapel case, five liberals on the Supreme Court said it was okay for Nevada to limit church services. Governor, I mean, Justice Gorsuch said it best. He said, there's no, there's no world in which the Constitution permits Nevada to favor Caesar's palace over Calvary Chapel. I'm just asking, is there a world where the Constitution says you can favor one First Amendment liberty protesting right. over another practicing your faith? I'm not favoring anybody over anybody. I'm just making a statement that's a broad statement that avoid crowds of any type, no matter where you are, because that leads to the acquisition and transmission. And I don't judge one crowd versus another crowd. When you're in a crowd, particularly if you're not wearing a mask, that induces it's just, it's the a simple, It's a simple question, doctor. Should we limit the protest? Government is obviously yeah. lim limiting people yeah. running church. And, and look, uh, I'm there's, not been no, there's been no violence that I, I yeah. can see at church. I haven't seen people yeah. during a church service go out and, and harm police officers right. or burn buildings. But we know that. I mean, for 63 days, nine weeks, it's been happening in Portland. Right. Yeah. Well, one night in Chicago, 49 officers were injured, but no limit to pro no limit to protests. But, boy, you can't go to church on Sunday. Uh, I don't know how many times I can answer that. I'm not going to opine on limiting anything. I'm just going to tell you. You've opined a on a lot of things, Dr. Fauci. Yeah, but I've never. This said is something that directly anything. impacts the spread of the virus. And I'm asking your 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 position on the protests. Yeah, I'm well, I'm not going to opine on limiting anything. I'm telling you what it is, the danger. And you can make your own conclusion about that. You should stay away from crowds, no matter where the crowds government has stopped, are. Government has, government has stopped people from going to work. In fact, just in New Jersey four days ago, Ian Smith, Frank Trombetta were arrested for opening up, for trying to operate their business, their gym. They were arrested. But I, my, my bet is if these two individuals own this gym, were outside just in front of their gym, and all the people who were working out in their gym were outside protesting. They'd been just fine. But because they were in the gym working out, actually running their business, they got arrested. you think that's okay? You know, I'm not going to opine on who gets arrested and who does not. I mean, I, I, you get where I'm going. I'm telling you, as a public health official, I say crowds. Do you see the inconsistency, though, Dr. Fauci? There's no inconsistency, Congressman. There's what? No There's no inconsistency. So you're allowed to protest <laughs> millions of people on one day in crowds, yelling, screaming, but you try to run your business, you get arrested? And if you stood right outside of that same business and protested, you wouldn't get arrested? You don't see an inconsistency there? I don't understand what you're asking me as a public health official to opine on who should get arrested or not. That's not my position. You could ask. Oh, you've as advocate, much as you you've want, advocated for certain businesses. You've advocated for certain businesses to be shut down. I'm. I'm just asking you on your position on the protest. I'm I mean, not, I haven't seen one. We've heard a lot about hair salons. I haven't seen one hairstylist who, between haircuts, goes out and attacks police or sets something on fire. But we've seen all kinds of that stuff during protests, and we know the protests actually increase the spread of the virus. You've said that. I said crowds. I didn't say specifically. I didn't say protest do anything. So the protests don't increase the spread of the virus? I didn't say that. You're putting words in my mouth. No, I, I, want, I, would, I just want an answer to the question. Do the protests increase the spread of the virus? I, I don't have any scientific evidence that anything. I can tell you that crowds are known, particularly when you don't have a mask, to increase the acquisition and transmission. No matter so what. So you don't have a position is. on whether the protest increased the spread of the virus or don't increase the spread of the virus. I'm saying that crowds, wherever the crowds are, can give you an increased probability that there's going to be acquisition 
and transmission. But do you understand Americans' concern? Back pedal faster, Fauci. You're Protesting grounding. Protesting, according, particularly according to the Democrats, is just fine. But you can't go to work. You can't go to school. You can't go to church. There's limits placed on all three of those fundamental activities, the First Amendment activities, but protesting is just fine. You know, Jim, I'm, Jim, uh, the gentleman's time has expired, but I'll just ask the gentleman to just think about his question and put it racist without masks on an oil rig in Texas. Nobody wearing a mask, nobody social distancing, but a fundraiser. Right. Would that be problematic? With that, I'll yield five minutes to Mr. Foster. Do protests increase the spread of the virus? Uh, I think I can make a general statement. Well, half a million protesters on June 6th alone. Yeah. I'm just asking that number of no. people. Does yeah. it increase the spread of the virus? Cra crowding together, particularly when you're not wearing a mask, contributes to the spread of the virus. Should we limit the protesting? I, I'm not sure what you mean. Should How do we no, say no, limit no. the protesting? Should government limit the protesting? I, I I don't think that's relevant to... Well, you just said if it increases the spread of the virus, I'm just asking, should we limit it? Well, I'm, I'm not in a position to determine what the government can do in a forceful way. You well, you make all position. kinds of recommendations. You, no. you make comments on dating, on baseball, on everything no. you can imagine. I'm just asking, you just said that, yeah. that protests increase the spread. No. I'm just asking, you, should we try to limit the protests? No, I think I would leave that to people who have more of an, a, a position to do that. I can tell you... Government that... stopping people from going to church, Dr. Fauci? Yeah. Today, the greatest risk of global catastrophe doesn't look like this. Instead, it looks like this. If anything kills over 10 million people in the next few decades, it's most likely to be a highly infectious virus rather than a war. Not missiles, but microbes. Now, part of the reason for this is that we have invested a huge amount in nuclear deterrence. But we've actually invested very little in a system to stop an epidemic. We're not ready for the next epidemic. Let's look at Ebola. I'm sure all of you read about it. But even outside, like like I just literally had it over my mouth. Like this. You gotta wear it properly. Everyone else is wearing it properly. We're wearing it properly. Doing this does not help anybody. You're still. I'm in the phone. That's your talk. And I'm outside. I was on the phone. The problem is, this is the thing, dude. So you understand? Yeah. Everyone's wearing it properly. Everyone's wearing it properly. You have to wear it properly. You're not wearing it properly. It's not like you're wearing it at all. What am I signing? It's a simple citation. Can I not sign it? I don't really want to. Okay, but you don't want to not sign it, bro. That's this not is, a this is, what, this is the thing, man. It's $110. Yeah, that's a lot of money. You can just put it in court. Let me finish. $110. But you don't have to necessarily pay $110. You can call. You can do community service. You can do a different thing in order to supplement for it. You don't so don't I was suggesting taking it. If you don't take it, I don't want to arrest you. You're going to arrest me for yeah, no reason? Yeah, I'm just signing the civil citation. Really? Yeah, bro. Oh, man. Wait, what? What year is this? The worst. The worst. This is nuts. Believe me, bro. Your problem is this is directly from the mayor, so you can always take it over him, bro. Because it's not us doing this. We're we're just enforcing what what was said. Okay. Yeah, well, you guys are on plain clothes too. That's kind of like a sneaky trick too. Now you gotta go. But they're not doing what they're supposed to do. We're not even doing this. You have to do it how you're supposed to do it. Yeah, think about this. You think people drive normally when when there's a police car around? Well, exactly. Yeah. It's the same thing. You should be doing it at all times. So there's no have a, have a good one, you know. Turn, 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 turn yeah, up a little bit on people. You know, I, I literally... I want to turn off the recording on your phone. I, I, I literally was talking to my mom. I'm going to the last school, man. Okay. So,
is no warring against this thing the way men war. You understand? This is a dark, wicked, evil tyranny, satanic in its very nature, that is encompassing the world. And the only way to victory over this is by the blood of Jesus Christ. If you don't know him, call on his name with a sincere, humble heart, knowing you need a savior, and that man cannot save man. It's all false hope and lies. He will guide you by his very spirit into all truth and give you peace. What we're seeing is abundantly obvious, but I am coming on here to tell you, if you're in cities and you're getting any inclination whatsoever to get out of them, listen to that inclination, because things are coming and they're coming rapidly. They're already threatening arrest for masks. They're in the gym. I don't care. They're working out. They need to breathe. But even outside, like like I just literally had it over my mouth. You gotta wear it properly. Everyone else is wearing it properly. We're wearing it properly. Doing this does not help anybody. You're still on the phone as you talk, and I'm outside and I was on the phone. The problem is, this is the thing. So you understand? You have to wear it properly. You're not wearing properly. It's not like you're wearing it at all. What am I signing here? It's a simple citation. Can I not sign it? I don't really want to. Okay, you don't want to not sign it, man. That's this not is, a this is, what, this is the thing, man. It's $110. Yeah, that's a lot of money. You can just put it in court. Let me finish. It's $110. Right. But you don't have to necessarily pay $110. You can call. You can do community service. You can do a different thing in order to supplement for it. You don't so don't I was suggesting taking it. If you don't take it, I don't want to arrest you. you don't so I was suggesting taking it. If you don't take it, I don't want to arrest you. you don't so I was suggesting taking it. If you don't take it, I don't want to arrest you. you don't so I was suggesting taking it. If you don't take it, I don't want to arrest you. You can me for yeah, another yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, bro. Oh, man. Wait, what? What year is this? The worst. This is nuts. Believe me, bro. Your problem is this is directly from the mayor, so you can always take it over him, bro, because it's not us doing this. We're just enforcing what? We're just enforcing what? We're just enforcing what? What was said, okay? Well, you guys are playing close too. That's kind of like a sneaky trick too. Now you gotta go. But they're, 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 they're supposed to do. But they're not doing what they're supposed to do. If this man in this video clip would have refused to sign this paper or even tried to have a simple conversation with these guys, they were just itching to arrest this man. They're confining people to their homes and forcibly. A little invasive, you think? Maybe. Think about this, people. Understand? Forcibly testing them. This is a violation of your body beyond reproach. I got sent a letter that was put out to this apartment complex in California. Mandatory testing. Mandatory quarantine. And I don't care if it's an elderly home. This is what they're doing. And it's coming. So you better be prepared, and you better be where the Spirit leads you to be. Otherwise, it's just going to be confusion and fear in your life, and you will be deceived. This is for your eternity, people. I have a lot to share with you, but it's just a little bit overwhelming right now. But please, you know, take heed of these notes. I just am not able to do a video of this right now, but so many things are leading to this Tisha B'Av and the three days following. But I'm really just coming on here to tell you that if you don't know Jesus Christ, you don't know him as your savior, his spirit is not indwelling you, you are going to be deceived by all of this. Again, it is abundantly obvious. God is making it so clear that it's a time to choose. Serve him or serve the devil. It boils down to that. Time is so very short. Call on the name of Jesus and be saved. God bless you all. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. You made me a socialite with a long skinny face, but you have to scoop somebody. Yes, indeed, scoop somebody.
Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness. From a website, Gates Notes, and he's talking about coronavirus. In the first phase of the pandemic, we saw an exponential spread in the number of countries. That word phase, I should have pulled this up already. Sorry about this. Check this out. Come on. Only when I'm in a hurry. Let's see. All right, we're going to look up this. the definition here. In physics, a relationship in time between successive states or cycles of an oscillating or repeating system. In this verb phase, carry out something in gradual stages, introduce something into, or withdraw, use in gradual stages. And there's a lot of definitions for phase, but I just think it's interesting that he chose that word phase. Eh. when describing the pandemic. Listen to this. So he's talking about the economic impacts a little bit. It, entire sectors of the economy are shut down. It is important to realize that this is not just the result of government policies restricting activities. When people hear that an infectious disease is spreading widely, they change their behavior. When they hear, because I don't think anyone has seen or know for a fact that it's spreading widely, but when they hear it, when they tell you, when people listen to them, there was never a choice to have the strong economy of 2019 and 2020. There was never a choice, huh? I think that I know that this has been planned for a long time. I know. Let's see what else is in there. Wealthier countries are seeing reduced infections and starting to think about how to open up. Even as government relaxes restrictions on behavior, not everyone will immediately resume the activities that are, are allowed. It will take a lot of good communication so people understand what the risks are and feel comfortable going back to work or school. This will be a gradual process. Very gradual. Some people will want restrictions lifted more rapidly and may choose to break the rules, which will put everyone at risk. Leaders should encourage compliance. We've seen that, or we'll see it, depending on where I've placed these videos in order. In wealthier countries. Benefits of early action meant these countries didn't have to shut down. I just don't think some countries wanted to participate as much in this pandemic. 
even though uh, what, 174 nations are signed up for the Agenda 21. The ability to do testing well explains a lot of the variation. It is impossible to defeat an enemy you, we cannot see. So test testing is critical to getting the disease under control and beginning to reopen the economy. Now, that's another thing. Hopefully I'll get into this video or the next one about testing and having contaminated tests which are actually transmitting the so-called virus so there remember i don't know if you guys remember there were a lot of cases and cases of these testing um testing materials that were sent out and it was found that they were contaminated with covid 19. Yeah, look that up. That was right towards the beginning. So far, developing countries like India and Nigeria account for a small portion of the reported global infections. One of the priorities for our foundation has been to help ramp up the testing in these countries so they know their situation. So there, there's not very many infected there, so we want to test them. Yeah, so you can infect them at the same time. All right. Short of a miracle treatment, which we can't count on, the only way to return the world to where it was before COVID-19 showed up is a highly effective vaccine that prevents the disease. If, unfortunately, the typical development time for a vaccine against a new disease is over five years. He breaks it down to the different phases. Let's see. Da, da, da. He's trying. He's just. Researchers can save time by compressing the clinical safety efficacy phase while conducting animal tests and building manufacturing capacity in parallel. Even so, no one knows in advance which vaccine approach will work. I bet you it's the DNA RNA vaccine that they push. So a number of them need to be funded so they can advance at full speed. Many of the vaccine approaches will fail because they won't generate a strong enough immune response. Well, they've already gotten a 90-something percent immune response with the DNA vaccines that they've tested on military personnel. Scientists will get a sense of this within three months of testing given that testing a given vaccine in humans by looking at the antibody generation. Safety, safety. Right. And here we go into this one step that was taken after the foundation and others called for investments in pandemic preparedness in 2015 was the creation of the Coalition for Epidemic Preparedness Innovations. Although the resources were quite modest, they have helped advance new approaches to making vaccines that could be used for this pandemic. CEPI added resources to work on an approach called RNA vaccines, which our foundation had been supporting for some time, I'm sure. Three companies are pursuing this approach. The first vaccine to start human Trials in RNA vaccine from Moderna, which started phase one clinical safety evaluation in March. An RNA vaccine essentially turns your body into its own vaccine manufacturing unit and could also make you not human anymore in a not a sense that you're a monster walking around, you're just not God's creation.
an RNA vaccine is significantly different from a conventional vaccine. A flu shot, for example, contains bits of the flu virus that your body's immune system learns to attack. This is what gives you immunity. With an RNA vaccine, rather than injecting fragments of the virus, you give the body a genetic code needed to produce lots of copies of these fragments. When the immune system sees the viral fragments, it learns how to attack them. Your partner, Gabby, that's another group that is involved in all of this. All right, the, this Gates notes the first modern pandemic was published April 23rd, 2020. Hey, my first strike, well, it wasn't really a strike, <coughs> video removed. They said it was a violation. I was spreading medical misinformation that contradicts the World Health Organization or local health authorities, medical information about COVID-19, including including on methods to prevent, treat, or diagnose COVID-19 and means of transmission of COVID-19. Well, actually what I was talking about was what a mask does to you and the effects of breathing your own carbon dioxide. I didn't say anything about COVID-19, I don't think. I'll have to go back and watch it. It was a fairly popular video, I think, like, fifth or sixth, something like that. Um, so, I don't know if I'm going to fight it. I think I'm just going to repost it in uh, maybe this video or another video. Someone snitched on me. Let's see. Your video... The great COVID cover-up was flagged to us for review. I'm getting trolled. All right. I guess I'm doing the right thing. Praise be to our Father and have Comet Neo Wise. I took on July 18th in the evening with a 12-year-old camera that I just received and figured out how to use. Thanks, everyone.